City leaders in Tacoma are trying to find solutions as businesses struggle to keep their doors open. In the meantime, many locals are still out of work. Our Lionel Donovan is live in Tacoma now with the latest. That's right. We actually had a chance to sit down with one of the residents here in Tacoma, and she gave me some insight into just how much of a struggle it has been to make ends meet during this pandemic. I thought that it was just for like two weeks, but then it went on and on and on. Like many in Tacoma and across the country, Mara Rosales didn't think she would be out of work for so long. But as the doors of Hotel Murano continued to stay closed, she began to face some hard questions. How am I going to pay my bills now? How am I going to be able to uh, pay my utility bills? Like, how am I going to be able to uh, support my family? And those questions led to some even harder conversations. Forget about buying clothes or shoes for my growing up kids. Like, right now, that's not a priority. And I have talked to them, and they understand that right now, um, these times are like hard times. So what's being done to get people like Myra back to work? In the U.S., small businesses employ nearly half the workforce, and local leadership is working with small businesses to help them through this time by getting them the resources they need to stay open. So if you're a restaurant and you didn't make any money last month, but you got to go spend $9,000 on an outdoor cafe, that can be difficult, right? So it's spanning lines of credit and the like. Um, so we're trying to be as thoughtful as we can with the CARES resources we have, and then also opening up some of our other economic development funding and resources. But it's a delicate balancing act between keeping the public safe and keeping them employed. I think the American spirit of entrepreneurialism is alive and well, and just government needs to be flexible enough and adaptable enough to make it work, both from a health perspective and from a returning to business perspective. In the meantime, Myra hopes to get back to work soon and not just for herself. I only want to go back to work when it's safe because my family depends on me too. Now, Myra also told us that she hopes her employer, Hotel Murano, will also be able to ensure that she will have a job when things open back up and that she hopes that uh, other employees in her situation won't lose all of the benefits that they have spent so much time building. Reporting from Tacoma, Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.